Ethiopia. Uh, I'm Meti G from Ethiopia, and uh, Ethiopia's official language is Amharic, which is uh, which nobody would understand if I used that. But I was fortunate enough to went, to go to French high school, so I speak French and English, and I, I kind of feel at home whenever um, I think I feel more at home whenever I'm in Coke Coke's studio. This is my second time coming here. The Coke Studio. I'm a Sakinalo. It means thank you. So uh, the first time, the, my first experience was with uh, uh, ex Malaya from Cameroon. They were like French speakers, and it was a total different experience. And this time, when I was called again, I was like hyper excited because I thought it was like, okay, I've done my share, and then I'm probably not going to be called again. But I was called again, and for the international uh, week, so I was like, um, I I didn't know what to say or how to feel, or I was like, I was. Jumping up and down in my own room when they called me and told me that I was uh, I'll be part of this project again. Um, well, for I, I wish you could understand coming from Ethiopia, if these kind of events are like uh, impossible to imagine. Uh, I I never thought I'd be working with other African artists, uh, let alone American artists. That's that's, uh, we don't even dream it, because we're like, that's unachievable, we're like, if we dream it, we're like, oh, you're too, you, you know, you believe in fantasies or in fairy tales. That's how far we are. Uh, I know Ethiopia is well placed politically in the, in, in Africa, in Addis Ab is the capital city of uh, uh, African Union. But when it comes to music, nobody really knows our music, nobody knows our culture, um, unless uh, we're related to Rastafarians because they constantly promoted us. Thank God for them. <laughs> I mean, thank you Bob Marley for really for putting us on, on, on the map. Uh, but other than that, like, uh, we kind of are very uh, like in our own world and the rest of the world never we knew us at the same time, so I really feel blessed to be here. And like, uh, very, um, I mean, I used to dance with Jason Derulo's song. I'm, I'm a huge fan uh, to start with, and now I'm, I get to work with him. It's like, it's like a dream come true. <laughs> oh, thank you. And he's very humble. And like, um, whenever you meet these um, like well-established artists, be very humble. You go, okay, this is how I have to be. This is, I have to be extremely humble. The higher I go, the more humble um, I'll be. So I'm very happy uh, for Coke Studio for making my dream come true. Uh, and now I get to say dreams really do come true. Can you tell them about um, the music genre from Ethiopia we're talking about and why it's called oh. that? <laughs> um, well, um, the music genre in Ethiopia is, is quite versatile because we have uh, around 82 ethnics with 82 different languages. <laughs> the official is Amharic, so the most popular one would be uh, we call it Chik Chika, and it's a it's a shoulder dance uh, type of song, and it's it's a um, it's a totally uh, it's a six eight beat. I don't know if you would uh, understand it if I describe it that way, but it's like it's it's. It's completely well out of the box for uh, for for someone else to understand it if they haven't if they didn't grow up in in the culture. Yeah, I, I don't know how to say it. Unless do it. Can you please dance? Show it. Yeah. 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 Um. Yes, I can dance the shoulder dance. Do it. Do it. The cap. 